let's take a look at uh, group one. Uh, the main argument is uh, Sammy doesn't want to be an unsung hero. He wants to be a hero that people know. Be more specific, the girl's hero. Um, here, let me read it for you. Sammy is not a hero at all. Oh, so uh, the group modified the statement. Okay. Uh, he, uh, so he, uh, the, the, the argument now is uh, Sammy is not a hero at all. Uh, the first point, he is superficial, for he only judges the girls in their physical appearance. That's number one. He is impulsive. He lacks uh, consideration. Uh, he is inconsiderate. He is lacks consideration while he decides to quit his job. Number three, he only wants to get the girls' attention instead of really thinking of thinking for them. Okay, so these are the three points. 那个第一组, group one, could you give example of uh, why he doesn't think for the girls? We think um, Sammy stand up for the girls is not is not trying to do something good for them. Mm -hmm. I think the original intention why he d wants to stand up for them is he just wants them to he wants to get their attention. He wants to d maybe date Queenie, mm -hmm. but he. But in the end, I, his behavior are all in vain. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, because you can prove it by saying that um, he tries to say it while they are still around, because they are walking out. Uh, let me read it, the 22nd paragraph. Oh, uh, sorry, Dwayne. They keep, they keep uh, right on going, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the first line of this paragraph, uh, the girls uh, are in a hurry to get out. So I say I quit to Lango quick enough for them to hear. So that's one piece of evidence to prove that, you know, he wants to impress them. Okay. Uh, but I, I think maybe the other groups will also talk about what he actually says. You know, because he says that uh, you, you don't have to embarrass them. You didn't have to embarrass them. Uh, so uh, is that a uh, consideration for, uh, of the girls. You know, is that, um, you know, being considerate, you know, knowing that they are embarrassed because he, he, he knows that Queenie blush, blushes. Okay, so that's something to consider, okay? Okay, uh, very good. Uh, the group uh, are able to use uh, three uh, points to prove the main point. Okay, so the structure is very clear. Group three, um, the main argument is the girl represents changes in the social trend which Sammy is eager to follow. The group makes the argument uh, longer. Uh, by wearing bikini, the girls represent a new trend that breaks away from conformity. Uh, Lango, on the other hand, is a stereotype of conservatism. Very good, okay. Um, number one, the story was published in 1962 in the era of the 60s. The 60s were a time of new perspectives, new ideals. For instance, pop art, sex liberation, drugs. Okay, we think this story is the author's way of being sarcastic of the old conventional era before the 60s. Okay, uh, number two, conservatism. Back then, people acted in ways that were, that are more, that, that, that are stricter. Uh, that is the way they dressed. They are dressed. The girls are probably from another place. That's not right, right? Uh, so they did not know the practice of the small town. Uh, if they are from the another place, then they wouldn't go buy something for the house party, right? You know, uh, they they couldn't have gone to another town to buy something for the party that they, their parents want, uh, is holding. Okay, um, I think the the group makes a very good point. You know, by uh, elaborating on the main argument and also uh, elaborating on the background, but this is not an outline. You know, these are good points, but this is not an outline because uh, you didn't complete this argument. You didn't prove why Lango is a stereotype of conservatism or um, the, how the sign of beginning 
is opposed to the other signs which are prevalent in the town. Okay, okay. So, so that's my response. But uh, I think this is really these are really good points. Okay, uh, the group explain the background, the temporal background, and also conservatism uh, quite well because uh, I think uh, the issue of conservatism here is more in a uh, in a matter of dressing, dressing code, dressing styles. Okay, let's take a look at number four. Sammy saw that he defended the girls against an injustice, but at the end he realizes how the world really functions. Number one, we think he doesn't really defend the girls. An injustice, this is just how Sammy personally feels. It's not an injustice since he's a sexist, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he calls himself an unsuspected hero. However, the girl won't take notice of him. We think that he is too impulsive that he made a wrong decision. He realizes that the world will be harder if he refuses to follow the acceptable path. To some degree, we think he grows. This is more like uh, the trend of your thinking, you know, that you are still considering which stance to take. You know, whether you see, that, see him as a hero defending the girl, or uh, whether you think that you, he grows or not. So you started out arguing that uh, he doesn't really defend the girl. Uh, his act is useless. But then at the end, you think that he grows. On the two points, contradictory. There are two things. One is justice, and the other is convention. Yeah. Right, um, and you need to combine them. In a, in a paper, if you want to deal with two issues, for instance, um, Sammy uh, feels that he is defending for an act of injustice, but actually he is only uh, challenging the social convention. Okay, so you you will need to like make the connection between the two things, and then say that in challenging social convention, he realizes how hard it is, uh, and in this, in that way, he grows. He grows up. Yeah. Okay. Group five. Sammy ends up being a lonely hero. You want to argue that Sammy is an impulsive and lonely hero. If you want to say that apart from being lonely, he is also impulsive. You know, your main point is that he is impulsive, right? Uh, 你们就要注意一下, 好, 我们在那个写一篇paper, the ending is the final statement, definitive statement. 好,所以你如果要argue A和B,那你先要想说哪一个比较重要,比较重要一定放后面。所以那就决定说是你是要讲说,apart from being lonely, Sammy is also impulsive, or apart from being impulsive, Sammy is also lonely. 你如果讲apart from being impulsive, Sammy is also lonely,那你事实上是be sympathetic with him, 你不是在批评他。你知道我意思吗? 如果你讲说, apart from being lonely, Sammy is also impulsive, 那事实上你的main point是在批评他. 所以这个order事实上和你的argument相关, 也和你最重要要讲的东西相关. 所以这边目前这三点, 因为你那个argument没有写出来, 所以目前这三点, impulsive hero, lonely hero, uh, he's, he gets no appreciation, you know, we don't know how they support it. I think your argument is that uh, apart from being impulsive, Sammy is a lonely hero. 应该是这样,那所以你基本上就要讲是说, um, he's brave enough to do something which uh, will not win him any appreciation. You know, so you talk about how lonely he is, and then uh, how he doesn't get the appreciation. Okay? Okay, um... Group six, Lango stands for convention and authority, while Sammy and the girls stand for liberation, wanting to break free from the confinement. However, Sammy's defense for the girls account for nothing. Instead, he is jobless. Uh, one part of you think that he's a teenager having a crush on the girl, and the other is uh, that he is not afraid of authority, considering uh, that the boy shouldn't blame the girl in public and being considerate uh, of the girls. Okay, um, yeah, I think the, uh, we, we are still to uh, take a look at group two's uh, argument, but I think up to this point, 
uh, I believe you can s tell how complicated uh, the, the, whole, the whole story is. It's really a simple story, but it can uh, arouse uh, many different uh, interpretations. And uh, you can look at Sammy from different perspectives. Um, I think that uh, I, I would tend to be sympathetic with Sammy, you know, seeing him in his position and knowing that, you know, he really couldn't do more than he w uh, what he has done. Yeah, so I think that's one perspective that uh, the group s says, uh, because uh, ba ultimately, uh, basically he's courageous. Uh, although he is sexist, he is ignorant, uh, uh, and he is very limited by his class background, etc., uh, he's courageous to say something at the expense of his job. You know, so I think the, in that aspect, uh, he could win a bit of sympathy or appreciation from us. This is group two's. Uh, Sammy's decision is an impulsive one. As he walks out of AMP, he betrays not only his boss, but his parents. We think that his decision, uh, in your paper, uh, there is a difference between journal and paper. Journal uh, allows a freer style, and you can say, oh, I think, you think, we think. Because everything you said in a paper is from your perspective. No, it's what you think, okay? Uh, we think that his decision is an impulsive one. Sammy said he quit immediately without thinking. He said it out loud to let a girl hear it. Because he didn't know any of the girls, he made a decision based on their physical appearance. Uh, just like shoppers choose a can or a package of food based on their, uh, the cover of the pictures. We think that Sammy did betray his boss and his parents uh, because his uh, action is impulsive without careful consideration and based on uh, the physical appear appearance. Uh, Lango's face was dark gray and his back stiff. Lango has to take his job, his position, to, to be the clerk. Uh, of course he's mad. Yeah, and he's back stiff to show that uh, he'll not be sympathetic, okay? Uh, at least my family says it's sad. Okay, yes. Um, what is very strange is that at a turning point, uh, Sammy says, uh, uh, my family said it's sad, but I don't think so. So it proves that uh, uh, Sammy's learning is limited because uh, he doesn't realize the, the sad consequence of his limitations. Okay, so um, uh, in that way, he uh, disagrees with the fam his family, and maybe we can also say that he uh, betrays the family's expectation. Okay, so, so in that way, uh, it's a kind of betrayal. If you want to say that he betrays the boss, then maybe you will need to talk about uh, society as composed of social contracts. And uh, since you take the job, you need to be responsible for the job. And you need to finish it instead of quitting, quitting the job uh, on the moment, on the spot. And then that leaves it the boss or the, uh, he's actually not a boss. He's maybe a superseer. Um, so uh, he's a manager. Okay, so that leaves the manager uh, in a very difficult position. Okay, um, and he uh, also betrays the family in a sense that uh, he let them down. Uh, there could be a kind of agreement or expectation uh, on the parents, uh, agreement between the parents and the, ch uh, the kid, or a kind of expectation uh, on the parts of the parents, and then he let them down. Okay, so in that sense, uh, it's a kind of betrayal.